Welcome. In this video, we will look at two different notification options that are available on the support portal. First, we will look at the document notification options. These allow you to subscribe to notifications when new knowledge items, white papers, manuals, patches, or other items become available. Then we will take a look at case notifications. These are notifications that are sent out about support cases which you have opened. Let's start by looking at the document notifications. To get to the options, you can click the notification box in the middle of the screen or click under email notifications, add notifications. First, we need to select a product. Let's choose ArcSight as an example. In the Document Type section, we will select the type of notifications we want. Let's pretend we would like to know every time a new knowledge base document is published. Maybe we also want to know about updates to the manuals and maybe patches. Once you've made your selections, click Save to save. You will get the success message at the top. If you are interested in more than one product, use the drop-down to find another product. Let's choose Caliber. If I click Save right now, I will get notifications for Caliber for knowledge base documents, manuals, and patches. If I did not want the notifications for manuals, for example, I could select Manuals, click the Move arrow. Now when I click Save, I will sign up for notifications for Caliber, for Knowledge Base, and Patches. You can sign up for as many notifications as you like. If you change your mind later, you can go under Email Notifications, My Notifications. This will show you a list of all the notifications that you have subscribed to. You can select individual notifications and delete them, or you can also use the search box on the right to find the specific notifications you are looking for. For example, if I type patches and hit search, I will only see the patch notifications. If I search for the product name and hit search, I will get only the notifications for that product. To clear the filter, delete the information from the box and click Search. Let's pretend we no longer want this notification. We can select it and press Delete. It's no longer in our list. Now let's take a look at the case notifications. These are under your profile. Select the arrow next to your name and click My Profile. The case notifications are on the right. By default, you will get notifications during the life of any case you open. For example, when the case is created, you will get an email with the case number. When the case is updated, you will get a notification with the details. To disable these notifications, select the option Disable Case Email Notifications. By default, when your case is closed, you will get an invitation to take a survey. You can specifically disable just this email by using the Disable Survey Invitation box. It should be noted that you will always get emails from your support rep or other MicroFocus employees who send an email directly to you. These options only apply to the automated notifications from the system. If you chose to check either of these boxes, click Save. The Subscribe for Changes button will take you back to the document notification area we were at at the beginning of this video.